Welcome to CC Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're looking at the May June 2022 Agricultural Science Single Award paper. We're going to be looking at question number two. We're going to be looking at diminishing return, marginal product, among other things that has to do with agriculture business. If you have not yet, it's time for you to like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. It's very important for you to watch this video to the end because at the end on the screen, you are going to see the entire playlist for the 2022 and 2021 Agriculture Science Pass Paper 2. You should also leave me a comment to tell me where you are reaching us from your school and of course your Caribbean island. Let's hop right into question number two. Question number two. Farmer Vikram cultivates tomatoes. An extension officer advises Farmer Vikram that using fertilizer will improve the yield of his tomatoes. Figure two shows the effect of fertilizer application on the yield of tomatoes on Bikram's farm. Here we have a line graph, yield on the y-axis, which is of course the dependent variable, and fertilizer input on the x-axis, which of course is the independent variable. What are we tasked to do? Explain the effect of use of fertilizer on the yield of tomato at point A and B on the graph. Be mindful, your explanation might be slightly different than that I have here. So let's look at what happened at point A. The yield of tomato increases as the mass of fertilizer increases. However, the effectiveness of a fertilizer reduces after the application of 6 kilograms of fertilizer. Maximum yield was obtained when 10 kilograms of fertilizer was applied. Let's look at what happens for B. The yield of a tomato's reduced after 10 kilograms of fertilizer was applied. It also showed that the effectiveness of a fertilizer was further reduced after the application of 14 kilograms of fertilizer. Using information in figure two, advice farmer Bikram of a folly maximum yield that can be obtained by adding fertilizer to the tomatoes. So you have to go now to your graph. So we're gonna be going up. So maximum yield is going to be right here. So then you're going to be looking at the point that this line intercepts the Y. So that's gonna be 200 kilograms of tomato. Let's look at the other question. Maximum amount of fertilizer that should be used in his tomato crops. That's going to be easy. Wherever you find maximum or optimum yield, that is where you are going to be using your maximum amount of fertilizer. So if you observe, after 10 kg of fertilizer, there was no further increase in the amount of tomato produced. Instead, after 10 kg of fertilizer, there was a decline in the number of tomatoes produced. So, the maximum amount of fertilizer that will pretty much be beneficial to the farmer is of course 10 kg 
The graph in figure 2 on page 7 illustrates an economic law that is referred to during the production process. State the name of the law that this graph is. It's a law of diminishing return. Calculate the marginal product when the farmer moves from using 4 kg of fertilizer to 6 kg of fertilizer. Now, the first thing I observed here, and I want you to tell me in the comment, I don't know if I have had it wrong, but I am open to suggestion and correction. I think that this formula is incorrect. The output at the bottom should have been input. The input here would have been 4 kilogram and 6 kilogram. So the formula should read marginal product equals change in the total product divided by the change of the input. So how that would be calculated, we are going to go back to our graph. So we're going to be looking at the change in product. We're looking at 4 and 6. At 4, look at where the lines intercept here. It's going to be 100 kilogram. At 6, look at where the lines are going to intercept here. It's going to be 150 kilogram. Now, the change here would have been 150 here. Subtract. 100, the change would have been 50 kilogram. That is the change in the output or the product. Now, the change in the input would have been from 4 to 6. So that would have been 6 minus 4 is, of course, going to give us 2. Great. Now, if our formula, using the formula that with the input, then what would have happened here, your answer would have been 50 divided by 2, that would have equal to 25 kg. Let's go on down. So this here is the calculation. Now if we are going to be using the output, I don't know. I think probably we are going to be using some inverse formula, but I am not too sure on that. I don't know if I have forgotten something somewhere, but if I have, please correct me in the comments. I want to just separate this here. So the top part here would be the change in the product or the output. And the bottom part here would be the change in the input. So CI, change in input. CP, change in product. I would use a triangle one to show that. And then marginal product is calculated by the change in product divided by the change in input. You would have gotten 25 there. Let's move to the other question. Tanya is a poultry farmer. She went to the agricultural credit bank in her country. To obtain a loan. Sana gave her labor records to the loan officer with her loan application. The loan officer told Sanya that she needed to present other types of records to help him determine if she would qualify for the loan. State one reason why the labor records alone would not help Sanya to obtain a loan. Well, my explanation here, it would not provide enough details or enough evidence to prove she's able to repay the loan. Let's move on. Suggest two other records that Sanya must provide to the loan officer to be considered for a bank loan. The financial records are going to be needed. The income and expenditure. A business plan must be supplied for an agricultural loan. A bank statement 
will be needed to look at your asset versus your liability at the financial institution that you invest with. Your current market and stock inventory, those are going to be needed as well. I would have provided more than is asked for, but you will recall that in order for you, a farmer, to access any loan, the farmer will have to prove um, his or her personal character is good. Management ability is there to manage that type of operation. Financial position and progress over time, that would have to be proven to the bank. A repayment capacity, that would have to be proven to the bank. Purpose of the loan, the business plan, that would have to be clearly outlined. And where collateral is needed, the collateral report need to be provided to the bank. So quite a number of things, there are at least six things are needed by the bank in order to obtain a loan. That takes us to the end of question number two and the end of the paper two single award 2022. This video has been sought after by many students. They have been asking me, Mr. Wilson, could you get this one in for us very quickly? I want to remind us not to be selfish, but instead to like, share, and indeed subscribe. When you subscribe, remember to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there's a new publication. We want you to also click that like button so that the video will go to your playlist that should this video be turned off, you'd still have access to the video. We want you to share this with as many friends so that more agriculture video will pop up on your screen to help you ace your exams. Remember to leave a comment. I really want you to be a part of my learning community. Remember, on this channel, we have biology, human and social biology, and agriculture. Like I usually say, study to show myself approved. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.